It's Billionaire Boxing, and I'm back with another one. Um, the weigh-in. You know what pissed me off about the weigh-in? <clears throat> was that Jamal Charlo was unapologetic about missing weight by three pounds. And he said, uh, they asked him, what do you have to say about the weight? He said nothing. He smiled. He said, I'll fight him tomorrow. Me and him fight tomorrow, so it ain't nothing to say to Jose Benavides. But I just wish Jamal is really making a lot of... Uh, He's really, and I'll be pushing for Jamal. Everybody knows this, but he's making himself even more unlikable. And I don't know if that's his goal, but he did a good job this past week about uh, being really, 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 really um, contrite and being really expressive in his interviews without being um, taken taken as an asshole. But I think he went back to that asshole mode when he just refused to speak on missing weight. It's not a good look. Um, but but the weigh-in was uh, pretty good after that. You know, Benavidez um, came in lighter than Boo Boo, which is crazy. Um, only at only 0.8 pounds, but it was still crazy to see. Uh, Boo Boo looks like a big, strong guy, though, man. And I think that added muscle might slow Boo Boo down and make him more of an easier target to hit. I'm actually, and it's crazy to see that Benavidez, that, uh, because Andre looks so strong, I'm actually picking Benavidez now. I'm more I'm more confident Benavidez is going to catch up to Boo Boo, and and might stop him late now. I, I thought Boo Boo had a better chance, but now that I see how big he is and how after tomorrow, by the time he come, he's going to be coming in the ring at least 185 tomorrow. No low, no lower than 182, 183. It's going to be a big guy in that ring. So. And Benavidez is already a bigger guy, so you're going to be a lot slower for Benavidez in there. And I think that having a slower, more uh, stationary boo-boo is going to hurt him. And I think Benavidez might stop him late. Um, now, as far as Lamont Roach and Hector Garcia, uh, Lamont Roach came with a mask on. He looks pretty in shape. He looks like he's game. I still favor Hector, but I, I, I wouldn't mind. I, I think Lamont is a pretty good fighter. And Hector coming off, is coming back after his first fight after that loss to Tank. So it's a, it's a different game, you know. Um, Subrio, Matias, and Ergashev were super intense. Super intense. Ergashev tried to reach for the belt and Matias wasn't having it. These guys are, are, are ready to fight. It's going to be a knockout. And if I was a betting man, I'm betting putting all of my money on a knockout no matter who it is. Isn't, that fight will not go decision. And if it does, it's going to be brutal. A brutal 12 rounds. And they're just going to be tough guys that just survived 12 rounds of, of brutality. It's Billionaire Boxing, and I'm back with another one. Oh, Michelle Rivera looked real big and strong at 140 as well. Lippinets looked a little past it. He looks a little old. I hope, I hope he looks better tomorrow. But it's Billionaire Boxing, and I'm back with another one.